I redesigned Wednesday original soundtrack cover using free AI and digital design software in just one day. Here's how I did it. This is the official design, which is literally the same design as the serious promotional poster. Bruh. I'm obviously using Wednesday as the main character from my design too, but I wanted her to express a much more dark and intriguing aesthetic. What do you think? I decided to use the AI Stable Diffusion, which is open source, to generate the main image of Wednesday. First, using Dream Booth, I trained a model using 23 different pictures of Jenna Ortega as Wednesday Adams, so I could generate any image I needed and it looked as close as possible to her. After playing for a bit, I decided that using reference image for the posture and camera angle would come in handy. I used this screenshot from the show. Using the image to image tool in Stable Diffusion and lowering the influence so it focuses more on the reference image rather than the prompt gave me the results I was looking for. These are the two images I'm going to merge together. I like the face from this one and the outfit from this other one. I will show you a tip to make faces much more alive later in the video. I just have one problem I need to solve first. Resolution. The image I generated using AI is just very small with a really low resolution. I need more pixels. <laughs> Basically, it's a software that lets me upscale my images up to four times in just a few clicks. Here's a really quick explanation. You first set up your input image, select the AI model you want to work with, run it through the upscale image node, save it, and you're done. Same image at 2K resolution. Now it's Photoshop time. Here's the pro tip I was talking about. This image doesn't really show reflection in the eyes of the character and that shine really brings the character to life. This is the comparison. I think that little tweak makes a huge difference. Now that I have my final image, it's time to jump into Illustrator and create the vector designs I need. I also used Chainer to upscale the original logo and image trace it. I didn't need a perfect trace because I'm going to deform it anyway. I also added some more details to the final result, created a structure using a screenshot of the show as reference and added the spider webs to use as fill in the final image. Time to arrange and edit everything together and add the final touches. I hope you liked the final result, I would really appreciate interaction below if you liked the video to fit the algorithm. Thanks for watching, bye.